morning, Samuel. Okay, so I wanted to look at your papers. I have been swamped. Um, and so I'm going to look at your papers. I don't know if it's too late because you didn't put in the email when they were due. Um, so, all right, so I'm going to just always make sure that you put a deadline in. But again, also remember that I am uh, with you. I, I have my hours, if you will, on Tuesdays. And usually you got to jump in there. There's always um, other students who have contacted me early. So please, please, please remember that there are more, there are a lot of you, okay? So um, I'm gonna do a quick review of your paper. So let's do. I think the first thing was the assignment. It says art is history. This paper asks you to analyze how an artist uses the history of Christianity to make a contemporary point to do first. First, to let an artistic representation of the history of Christianity between 100 and 1500. You may choose, you may chose. Okay, so it should be choose from the list provided to you on Canvas. So I don't know what that list was. You may select your own. If you select your own artistic representation, please clear with me first. Then research the historical event on which the artwork is based. This should have been a great paper. Um, as you do so, ask yourself the following questions. What is the actual historical context? What has the first, what has the artist focused on, changed or kept the same? What point do you think the artist is trying to convey? That, this should have been an, uh, just a great paper, right? I like artists. I like um Art. A constructive thesis that reflects your answer to question three. Um, finally, build your argument over the course of a five-page paper. Um, so um, this should have been great, right? So you know how to use the ribbon. We've already thought about it. But there's a sample paper on the Canvas site. So when your professor, your professor gave you a lot here. So always look to see what the professor is asking you to do. She or he, I'm not sure what your professor is, the gender. But your professor gave you a sample paper. So I hope that you reviewed the sample paper before beginning your own paper. It says, if you have any questions about there, do not hesitate to contact me. If your paper is not properly formatted, it will automatically lose a full letter grade. And you will be required to reformat the paper. The best papers will have interesting arguments and lucrative prose devoid of typos. The best papers will also look like proper academic papers. Be sure, therefore, to edit, proofread, and meticulously format your paper. It says here the paper was due on the 27th. So that means this paper, if you haven't already submitted, it is late. Okay. Um, thesis statement, description of historical event. Your professor, and all of us do this, Samuel, is that this is what we do. We will tell you exactly what it is that we're looking for. Thesis statement, description of historical event, what actually happened, comparison to artistic representation, what is presented in the artwork, analysis of the artist's point, what do you think the artist is trying to say, and then your formatting and grammar, and that's your whole paper. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this, and so, and I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm going to go over here to your paper. Murder in the Cathedral, a plot, BR. Um, so I'm assuming you were supposed to use a piece of art. What, did your professor give you permission to use a play? T.S. Eliot wrote plays. So I'm, I'm hoping that this was a part of the assignment that you were allowed to do so. Again, just looking at formatting. Um, you have uh, BR, I'm assuming you meant by little small things like this. You have to catch it. I hope that you caught this before you turn your paper in. Um, you capitalize A, you didn't capitalize from. The rule of thumb is you do not capitalize prepositions and articles. A is an article unless it is at the beginning of the title. So you would not have capitalized from A. Okay. All right. Um, then you have. Um, the next one, murder in the cathedral. You use a semicolon. You don't use a semicolon. You would use a colon. I'm going to put now a review and I'm going to do a new comment and I'm going to put over here what the assignment asked for. 
All right, T.S. Eliot was born in Louis, Missouri on September 20th. He was an American poet and playwright living in London, England. The play entitled Murder on the Cathedral was composed as an account of the murder of Thomas Beckett, who was clergy in the Cathedral of Canterbury. Um, again, was this one of the pieces you were allowed to use? Um, I, I hope. Um, was composed in the account of the murder of Thomas Beckett, who was clergy in the Cathedral of Canterbury. Um, in this study of this artistic work, it's necessary to understand what had happened, the representation of the drama and the message it bears for the modern reader. Okay, so that would be your thesis statement. All right, background. So now you're given a description of the historical event. What actually happened? The contest of this play happened when the Catholic Church was undergoing rapid growth compared to the English secular kingdom. Therefore, comma, always remember that, okay. King Henry II in Canterbury demanded that the church be put under the state, which meant that the church would be under him. Beckett vehemently rejected this proposal and rejected his idea, igniting a tussle between the archbishop and the king, representing the church and the state, respectively. Right, it's a long sentence, but it'll work. Um, the struggled, the struggled, so the struggle. was heightened with what if land shed more light on when Beckett tried to take back the land Henry had possessed from the public of Canterbury. Okay, so there's something going on. Here you said, well, if land, you're getting ready to cite somebody. This is what you're saying right here, right? Um, so this here, um, if you're citing if land, um, then th there should have been an, um, right here, what I'm highlighting, I'm gonna put it in here in A. There should have been um, been a footnote at the end of this statement. Okay, you cannot put the footnote at the end of the paragraph. You already know this. Then you have another sentence. This is where the question arose. You cannot do this. This you have two sentences in one. Okay, so this is now a run-on sentence. Okay, this is where the question arose of whether the church or the state has the power to punish clergymen from guilty of committing crimes. The issue of money that Beckett failed to give to Henry Ifland for, okay, so I don't understand. You have all this space right here. The issue of money that Beckett failed to give to Henry Ifland further explains. Do you see what you did? You stopped with your sentence. Okay, so again, I'm highlighting this is red and red. Um, this is a fragment. Then you go, if land further explains that after this, Beckett discreetly left E England to France where he lived for seven years. Again, you didn't do this right, okay? So I'm gonna put this in yellow. Um, I, you know, after this, Beckett discreetly, I don't know why you have an E sitting there, okay? And your, where you put the footnote is incorrect. Always remember that you put the punctuation first, then the footnote, okay? That's how you do it. Years, period, then footnote. If Len place to start the drama when the Beckett, when the Beckett, so Samuel, you know these things. So what, what, what I'm seeing is, you didn't go back. I hope that you went back and you read this. Do, and I told you this from day one when we first met, read aloud, right? You want to read aloud and so that you can hear the mistakes. I promise that's what I do. You see me doing it for you all, but I do it when I write my own papers. I go back and I read it aloud. When I read it aloud and I'm reading it with, you know, with eyes so I can really see what's going on, read it aloud so that you can catch those mistakes, okay? If I'm place the start of the drama when the Beckett, so you went and saved the Beckett when Beckett came back from self-exile. This time, Beckett and Henry buried their differences 
and agree to bring a good working relationship between the two parties. You have to watch the spacing behind periods. I need for you to check the Arabian. Check spacing behind punctuation. However, their reconciliation will not survive. Will not survive? Watch your tense. For long because they faced another stomach. You see, now you have essence. You see what I'm talking about? Again, be consistent. This is due to Becky and the Pope's disagreement with the king, who had decided that his son will be. Okay, once again, there is the wrong verb tense. Okay. Coordinated by difference, and then you have an extra T sitting here. And once again, I don't know why. Church rather than the church of. Um, and you need to review again, make sure that your footnote is correct. The Church of Canterbury. Also, your, your page number is not the same font. Remember, everything in your paper has to be consistent. So when you do insert page number, you have to change the font of that page number, okay? Because right now that's Calibri and you use Times and Roman as your, your regular font for your paper. The, the Church of Canterbury, um, church rather than the Church of Canterbury Cathedral this time, it was no comma after it, no comma after time. The official traditional place for such coronation the Pope, therefore, ordered the suspension of the bishops who were responsible for this coronation. Why in the world did you put a dash? Please don't do that. Do not, do not use dashes. Okay, just don't, just don't try to use them because you're using them incorrectly. Then you have, these are the bishops, the knights in the play order back to absolve. That makes no sense, does it? So you, even though it's a quote, you didn't do it right. That statement is unclear. Then you have summary. Murder in the cathedral is divided into two sections. The first part is of course comprising of the women of Canterbury. These women are explaining their worries. They explained in the course how their lives have been negatively affected by going away of their by going away of their bishop and the suffering it caused to them. Okay, so I don't know why you centered the quote. You do not center the quote. I need for you to go back and, and look at how to block a quote. These women also expressed their words about Becca's return because they felt that his presence would stir their already complicated situation. Same thing, you have the footnote in the wrong place. They were also concerned about his life because they thought that his coming back will ignite. Once again, your verb tense is wrong. Okay. The already existing grudges with the king which can make him be executed and so losing their spiritual leader. This is a fragment. Cannot start a sentence with, with which. Contrary to women's feelings, contrary to the women's feelings. When the three priests of Canterbury took up their place in the hall, they welcomed the archbishop. After the lamb ending his absence for seven years and the consequences of the past return, they felt uncertain of what will happen. Again, you need to do some reviewing of verb tenses. The archbishop's return. Okay, again, your footnotes down here, you got to work on these. You have to have a period behind each one. You got to you got to work on these. Your footnotes are, are um, out of order the way you have them written. Again, you need to work on your footnotes. The messengers killed people's hopes that things. We talked about this from day one. This paragraph has forty seven words in it, so you know this paragraph is too short.
Okay. And the messages kill people's hopes set things. Another thing we already talked about is no things. We've said that over and over again, not in academic writing. Okay. Upon the Archbishop, because they thought there was a possible reconciliation when the messenger of the priest were left, reflected on the life and times of Becky was the Chancellor of England under Henry. Okay. The priest again became, so you could have combined these paragraphs. They're all short enough that you could have just combined these first three. The, the one that begins with the messengers, the ones that begin with the priest, and the ones that begin with when the second priest. You could have combined those. Okay, so you have um, the priest again became disheartened with, with the Beckett's return. Again, why is the sitting here? Because they knew that it would bring them more suffering while well, already they had suffering in his presence. This is it. You have to rewrite this sentence as incorrect. You have two subordinating um, clauses. which means you have a fragment, uh, uh, an incomplete thought, okay? You have to redo that. This presence will even be more worse because there will be a renewed struggle between the church and the state with the archbishop's return. And because of that, they will want to die quietly. Again, in academic writing, you cannot start a sentence with and. This paper is still an uh, academic paper, Samuel. So please don't forget these things. You cannot. Begin a sentence with and in academic writing. Also, you did not put your punctuation behind quietly. When the second, so all of your punctuation that I'm seeing is incorrect, okay? So I don't know if your professor is going to give you a chance to redo this, but you didn't do it right. Um, when the second, it looks like your, even now your, your paragraphing is off. So you have a lot of mistakes. These are unnecessary mistakes, Samuel. You can catch this yourself. You know this, your tab or the indentation of your paragraphs um, is incorrect you must indent a half an inch, okay? When the second priest was rebuking, again, you know this paragraph is too short, okay? This paragraph has 48 words in it. When the second priest was rebuking the other people present for their hypocrisy, the, and then why did you capitalize the? Archbishop confronts the second priest saying that the others were justified to express their fears for only God who knows what the future holds wishes them peace of God. Afterward, afterward, afterwards. A series of tempters came to the archbishop. The first one reminded him of the young life and only which is due to his clergy to return to the former life. The second one, from the Archbishop going back to the second religion because he could do more than that position, religious position. The third one was the idea of the bishop to form a coalition. I think it says something missing. Earlier you said there were two points. I don't see where the, the second one was. You said murder and cathedrals divided into two sections, semicolon. The first part is the chorus compromising of the women of Canterbury. Where was the second part? I don't see where you even mentioned the second part. So you should have mentioned both of them right there, okay? So that, that would have helped you to stay focused in your paper. So I don't see that. Um, then you have this third one was the idea of the bishop to form a coalition, form a government with the king. Beck had gone through all the temptations before and it was not falling for any of them. The fourth temple came with the thought of martyrdom. This meant that he was supposed to have a life devotion to God to give back the message of the meaning of his enemy. Cedar says that the archbishop decided that he will not seek Again, verb tense. Pardon them for pride or personal reasons because that is definitely what I caused. Again, you didn't do this correctly, which compromise, compromises integrity of, okay. So you can use ibid, period, comma, 
one is the exact same source, like for five and six. So uh, the first one would have been Elliot, um, the, the Myrtle Cathedral, comma, quotation 14. The number six would have been IBID, period, comma, 18. Okay. Again, you have to, you did not do these right. You have to go back in and, and get your footnotes right. Um, your margins are off. Okay. So I don't know how you did this. I don't know how. Okay. But you can look at your paper. You can see that your margins are off. Look at this paragraph compared to the one below it, okay? Between part one and two, Thomas Beckett preaches a sermon which he, hi, okay? Reflects on the lessons learned in part one. The setting is in the cathedral on the Christmas of, I don't know why you would put a comma here. The main idea was the misery of Christianity. In concluding his sermon, he bids the people goodbye as he foresaw his impending murder. Why is murder capitalized? I'm down here at number nine. Still after a while, he dropped the chancellor's, chancellorship. He abandoned. Okay, so once again, you have two. This is what we call a run-on sentence. The night moved to the night move. Okay, so what are we doing? That's incorrect. Um. Attacked Beckett, but the priests and people present restrained them. They left promising to come back for him. Beckett refused to hear the police and priests with him, the knights. Here you have a run on sentence. And once again, you just keep changing your verb tense. You go from past tense to present tense. You can't do that, okay? Normally when you're dealing with literature, you stay present tense in literature, okay? Um, so again, you keep switching. Then you have, they come in, they kill Beckett. No punctuation, what so have you at the end of the sentence. These are just common errors that you should have caught, Samuel, while you were going through your paper, okay? Heartbroken by the Archbishop's course marks a painful morning. The priest expresses, priest expresses were inspired by the death. The priest expresses, you can't do that. Expressions, maybe. It's just, uh, it's, it's not clear. Using this right here, it's not clear. Again, no punctuation. I really hope you went back in this paper. And this play is visible. In this play, it is visible. Again, when you read things aloud, you can hear it. No, don't say don't. Again, don't use contractions in academic writing. Again, you have to work on your footnotes there, incorrect.
Something's not right here. I'm reading. The other one is about godly power and secular power of the strife that exists between King Henry and Thomas Becket. The Archbishop represents two separate kingdoms. And that entire statement needs to, to be reconstructed. I don't know, once again, you capitalize the word the in the middle of a sentence, no things. On the eternal kingdom of God. Who is we? So remember in academic writing, you do not want to use we, that's first person plural. It's the essence of being good. The priest and the women of camera all talked about how good Beckett was. This is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, Galatians 5, 2. And you should have put that in um, parentheses. Again, you know this, you cannot begin a sentence with, but he pushed for the greater good of the church is well enough. Thomas Beckett is an example of proper contem contemplation mark. 836 poses a critical question. What does the proper man again in the whole world yet for for his soul? Again, here you have the indentation is off. Samuel, oh, if I were sitting next to you, I would just do one of these numbers. No us, no our. And you cannot begin a sentence with and. We talked about this, okay? So all in all, I, I understand your ideas and everything, but you have a lot of unnecessary mistakes in this paper, okay? They're just unnecessary. Um, again, I have put the comments over here for you. Um, so I feel like you, you answered the questions, but you have unnecessary mistakes. So I hope that your professor will give you the opportunity to go back and correct these, okay? All right, so I'm gonna stop this one. I will uh, put this online for you so you can review this. Um, and then uh, later on today, I'm not going to have time right now. I'll review the other one that you sent the other day. Okay. Have a good one.